it, you know, we can't ignore the fact right now, the pain and the hurt that the whole travel industry is in. So I want to call that out up front as well. You know, World Travel Tourism Council have done their facts and figures on that. You know, it's a little known fact maybe for some people. At the end of 2019, globally, travel accounted for one, of, one in 10 jobs of GDP. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, they, they had originally been forecasting for 2020, a 3 to 4% growth, year-on-year -year growth. They're now projecting uh, probably a 58 to more likely 78% down. And international tourists certainly are that much down. I'm surprised it's only that many, really, when you look at what's happened. Um, their estimate, they're seeing right now, globally, about 1 million jobs lost a day yeah. in, tra in, in industry. And that financial, I mean, we don't, we're definitely going to talk about this move away from price alone, but we talk about value. There is an enormous amount of tangible wealth and value brought through travel. Mm -hmm. And that is estimated to be uh, going to be running at a loss somewhere between 2.7 trillion mm. to five and a half trillion just in 2020. I mean, this is such, and you know, I think the thing that we, to do with this conversation, the industry, it's an industry all love we kind of know that as, as it's been called out in many places and particularly world travel tours and council, it'd been on a path of destruction for decades that needed to be kind of paused. But I also know that the, I don't think anybody would have wanted it to be this way. All right. And, and the actual, the forecast long-term impact for the planet on this is a blip. It's a breath. That's what it is. It's not necessarily the absolute change in impact to environment and sustainability we think it is right now it's like a big deep breath that's it because it doesn't mean that we can't not look at changing the behaviors and the way we've done things but so i think it's a nice pause let's reflect let's kind of mourn and support our industry as best we can and do some things better right and i think i mean what what's your your experiences right now with this whole you know you, you're seeing it you're right in the cold face again the disruption to this what's your thoughts on that diana just this whole shutdown and travel yeah look it's brought up so many things that um we weren't talking about or we didn't want to acknowledge for so long it's actually brought it all up to the surface um and i welcome that i welcome the discussions now because for, for quite a while i felt like i was so the only one, you know, bringing up these discussions, um, you know, in the industry and initially people were like, yeah, but I'll go back to keep doing what I'm doing. And, you know, um, and now there's a greater interest um, within the media, you know, within the industry and with consumers. So I really welcome that. I would never have wished for it to happen in this way, like you said. Um, and I acknowledge all the people that, you know, are on the front line of, of the pandemic, um, you know, and everything that they're going through. Um, and I acknowledge that. But on the other hand, um, like I said, I welcome the discussions. And, and I'm, you know, I'm, without trying to use another word, but I'm ex not excited, but I'm, I'm quite, um, I can't think of another word other than excited, but I'll just say anyway, you know, that there is this growing interest in, in people and organisations wanting to do better. Um, for the environment um, in their own, you know, life and or business, whether it's in travel or not. And I think that's great because um, that awareness, um, you know, was, was trapped, I guess, for so long, you know, in this general everyday cycle that we were in. Um, so seeing that um, and realising the global impact that travel and tourism is, again, I, you know, I think that's been a great awareness um, for travellers um, to realise that it's not just them that, you know, are not able to travel or are suffering from the fact that they're not able to get on a flight. There's also, you know, tourism operators that can't, you know, operate any tours anymore. There's community projects, um, which I don't think people realise. There's so many community projects that rely on tourism that have had to go on hold or seek, you know, you know funds elsewhere. Wildlife conservation projects as well have been, you know, under threat through the lack of tourism. Um, also, you know, thousands of people have lost, you know, jobs here in Australia alone. You know, amazing, hardworking, passionate people who advocate for travel as a form of, you know, amazing personal experience have had to let, be let go. But it just goes to show as well the power of travel. Um, you know, for us humans. And I guess that's one of the reasons why I've been in the industry for so long. My only career, in fact, has been in travel 
has because I know we all know the power that travel has to connect with other people, you know, and naturally that's who we are as humans. We, we crave that connection. We need that connection. We need to be, you know, out and about and, and, you know, within nature as well, having these experiences, it fulfills us um, as well. And something that I found recently as well is people want to get back to travel and they want to get back to these open natural spaces, which is great as well. So people are looking at not just these big, you know, tours and experiences, but they want to get back to smaller, intimate, you know, um, travel experiences, you know, really direct hands on, you know, helping or, you know, I'll, I'm happy to share a few things that I'm quite excited to see, you know, interesting. Um, but yeah, this whole pandemic has just, I guess, opened the discussion and opened the doors. And the one thing that I, I worry about is that, will we go back to the way we were traveling? You know, and that's, that, that's what's important, right? Yeah, it? it's, and that that's a bit of a worry. We're on that verge, like you said, this is just a breath in, you know, a momentary pause to reflect on what is this impact that we're creating when we do travel, because it's one of the biggest global impacts on the environment that we have. Um, and I, and it's great to see people starting to question that and, and becoming more aware and wanting to do different. And as an industry, I really believe, and it's my hope, that we can collaborate together yeah. to make travel and tourism, you know, leaders in, you know, advocating for the environment and reducing our impact. Um, we've got a long way to go, I believe, um, but I feel like there is, there is discussions um, and there's quite a few actions. I can see tour operators and, you know, doing a lot more things. Um, but yeah, it's, we're on that verge. Um, we're we're going to dive into some of that, actually, and get into some yeah. of that. 